Are you sure you shouldn't grab a sweater? Don't be ridiculous. I'm going to California. Yeah, but I don't want you to get sick. You know, that's what Carla just told me. I don't know how many times I have to tell you, but I still can't hear what she says. Oh, Hunter. I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's not that I forgot, it's just... This is, this is stupid, right? What am I even doing? I shouldn't be going to California. I need to be... I... How is Polly even doing right now? She's okay. She's got me and Veronica. I mean... She's meeting someone tomorrow, I think, to make the funeral arrangements. Not... Mm. This is ridiculous. We live in the biggest city in the world, and we can't find someone else to deal with our funeral arrangements? Mm -mm. Hey, you shouldn't be going on this thing alone. I should be going to that meeting with you. Please, what are you going to be doing in California? Well, I don't know. I just... I would make sure that those Hollywood types treat you right. And, yeah. And maybe I'm a little afraid that some big... Hollywood movie star is gonna whisk you away from me. Hunter. Oh. You're so silly. I was lucky enough I found you to deal with my crazy. I'm not gonna find anyone else. I love you. Have a good trip. Morning! Don't you gotta work or something? Yeah, I'm all done for the day. So what are you doing here? I thought we could hang out, you know, before you guys had to work. Dude, it's like 9 a.m. We're exhausted. It's after 3. <laughs> Man, Chaz, you're a good throw. <laughs> so what are you guys watching? Nothing. We're sleeping. Oh, cool. Well, I thought we could pick up on that movie we were watching last week. I'm dying to know how it ends. Uh, gee. Well, if you're getting up, you might as well get me a cup of coffee, Mr. Grumpy Panda. <laughs> What's wrong with him? <sighs> Don't mind him. He's usually cranky before the first wank of the day. <laughs> Got a hot date? No. It was just really weird seeing Ted the other day. It was the first time since... Since he said he doesn't want to see you anymore? Yeah, I know. <sighs> Dude, why should you keep reminding me? No, I think I do. Because you're sitting there all mopey-dopey without realizing that this is the best thing that's happened to you, losing all that dead weight. Now, I think we should get back to the movie. You know, I even had a dream about it. Oh, Chaz, get in here. You seem happy. Can you please grab the remote control? And Gerard's bothering me. <laughs> you guys are the best. I just keep replaying what I said over and over. Those were my last words to her. Were they cruel, Father? Yes. Uh, but so was Piper. I mean, <gasps> sometimes cruelty begets cruelty, no matter how great the heart loves. You can't defy human nature. You can only learn from it. But I'm not supposed to be cruel. Not to my own daughter. Yes, but you yourself said that you were cruel to Polly in order to protect her from Piper. You know, mm. sometimes you have to be cruel in order to do a kindness. You used to be much better at consoling people, Father. I do admit I feel pretty off my game, Mrs. Agrofos, and for that, I do apologize. Mm -hmm. You see... Oh, no. I... Oh, no, no, no. You stop right there. Ask yourself, am I really in the mental state to be listening to your problems? <sighs> you people are the worst. Ted, please be fair. We all want to help you, but you've been talking for the last 25 minutes. There are other people in the circle. But their problems are nothing like mine. So, she's a sucky actress, so what? Pam, that's not fair. We're not supposed to be attacking one another. 
And he's just upset because his mother kicked him out of our house. She didn't kick me out. She died and the, the bank took the house to cover her medical bills. None of that compares with the loss of true love. That's what I'm going through. That's what I'm feeling. Pam, I'm gonna stop coming to these meetings if you don't step in and do something. I already feel bad enough about myself as it is and I don't need him making me feel worse. I'm with Jennifer, Pam. I mean, you're supposed to help us cope with our feelings, but it's like every time I come here, I leave feeling worse than when I first came in. Rupert, yes, what is it? Do you have something to add? Yes. I just think that everyone needs to see things from my brother's point of view. He's the nicest, greatest, kindest, sweetest big brother I have. He's so full of love. And last year, the man he gave that love to rejected him. After he rejected him first, but that's another story. Anyway, the point is, when you've got all this love to give and no one to give it to, you feel lost, lonely, empty. So he can't help being who he is any more than you can help being a bad actress or you can help being the son of a dead woman. Maybe you can see things from where he stands. Pam, you promised me that you were going to stop hiring actors for this group. I'm not. These are real members of the group, I promise. Y impossible. There's no way these two are real. Sadly, they are. I've seen dozens of surveillance tapes. Hi, everyone. Sorry I'm late. Oh, it's Mr. Happy. Steve, please. Drake is welcome here, too. Were you busy not painting because you were basking in the glow of your new relationship? Jerk. Rubbing it in. Actually, I was just at the hospital. A friend of mine's sister was just in a bad accident. Oh my god. Is Polly hurt? It's Piper, actually. Oh. Um. Hey there. Hey, name's AJ. You come here often? I mean, as often as I can. I know the owners. Almost arrested most of them at some point. They're a great bunch. Well, you probably know that big guy's name. I think you're talking about Hunter. Most thirsty queens want to know his name. Watch who you call a thirsty queen. Hey, man, if the tiara fits. Thanks for your help. Hey there. I... Yeah. Sorry, bub. I'm busy. That is exactly what I need. Careful, son, that foot has a blister. Ooh, yeah, it does. I can pop that thing for you. Oh, well, that is mighty kind of you, son, but uh, let's let it do its own thing. What do you say? And what are you doing? No one said to stop massaging. What kind of slave are you? Sorry, sorry. Hunter just asked me to clean, so he's going to be pretty upset if he finds out I massage you the whole time. Do you guys mind keeping it down? Son, I haven't been able to keep it down since I hit puberty. I think he means us being quiet. I know what he means more than he does half the time. Who's the one that found that place on the back of his thigh that makes him... <laughs> you okay, Sparky? No. I don't know. I just... I just saw her, and she was alive and vibrant and making everyone as miserable as possible. Take it from an old man who has seen this time and time again. You cannot focus on it. These things happen. You can't change them. It's okay, little buddy. I know how you feel. You keep using diminutives every time you talk to me, and I just want you to know that I do outrank you in Hunter's hierarchy, okay? Come on. I've been in your position before. I know how you feel. Then please tell me, because I don't. Part of me feels really bad because I know I should, but also, I didn't like her. Well, I mean, no one did. I thought she was funny. Yeah, but I do like Polly, and I don't, I don't like seeing her in pain. Uh, 
I'm going to give you a bath. You don't have to give me a bath. Then you can give me one. What are you sitting around for? Hunter sent you to clean up. I think you look lovely in it. Yeah? You don't think it's too much cleavage? Piper's gonna say that it's too much cleavage. Piper's gonna say that I look like a walking pair of tits with a mouth. You are not just a pair of walking tits. I have great tits. You do. I, I mean, do you? I mean, look, look, Polly, I really don't know what you want me to tell you here. You know what? Never mind. Doesn't matter. You know, you know, I saw your mom earlier. She's actually coping pretty well. Of course she is. My mom is my rock. She's not a basket case like I am. It's okay to feel feelings. It's okay to fall apart. That's why you have friends and family to help pick you back up and put you back together again. I wish that I had a friend who would tell me what to wear so I don't embarrass my sister. Okay. I may not be able to help you with that, but I think there's other ways that I can help you. I actually counsel a group of group therapists and I think you should come to our next session. I think it could be a lot of help for you. Let me get this straight. You're telling me that you counsel people who counsel other people, yet you don't know what to tell me to calm me down? <sighs> okay, I, I guess when you say it like that, it, it doesn't sound like oh, I could be of much God. help. <laughs> <sighs> I guess it's good that I have such a great sense of self-confidence. <laughs> uh. Finished? No, no, I don't think it's gonna happen today. I mean, the spirit is willing, but the body just won't go along. Hey, it happens to everyone. We can take a break, maybe try again later? Yeah, I guess. Just don't let it get you down. That's probably what's causing the problem anyway. You'd think that, but Actually, I'm the happiest I've ever been in my entire life. You don't sound very happy to me. Well, I'm an understated kind of guy. <laughs> mm. So when's this show anyway? Not for a couple months. I got some time. Why don't you go ahead and get dressed? I don't think the magic's gonna happen today. Okay. Are you sure? Are we still going to Marty's then? No, no, we are not. Are you serious? I've been coming here for how many years? Four years. And never once have we not gone to Marty's after wrapping up for a little party and play. People change, Georgie. <laughs> no, they don't. They may think they do, fool themselves, but they're always who they are. That's all they'll ever be. No. No, not anymore. Not since rehab, not since Angie. No, sir. Damn. You really are as happy as you say you are. You make me sick. So he was his father, and he knew it all along, and he still cut his hand off. Yup. <laughs> Either way, I still didn't see that coming. See, Mr. Diaz, after all the business we've given you over the years... Which you've never paid me for. Well, you did try to kidnap and brainwash the better part of my entire family, so I'd say that's water under the bridge. I got this, Monica. Cameron, Diaz. No relation. I really want to do right by my sister. Well, if you're serious about that, then I would highly recommend that you pick a different spot for the Ceremony of Remembrance than this... Bar. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree with you. I just don't want to spend a lot of money. So long, 
As you're planning on spending some money. You know, something that Ted said has really stuck with me. No, that's not what I was thinking. Although it was kind of funny when he stepped on your Legos barefoot. I bet I know what it was. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Well, you know. You were thinking about the time he told you that you don't have a dream. That's right, how did you know? Because you were just talking about it with me before Chaz came back from the bathroom. That's right. Well, anyway, it really stuck with me. I mean, Chaz, you fulfilled your dream. You graduated. I'm proud of you. You fulfilled your dreams. You got friends. Man, that's not my dream. Is that? No, that's something everyone has. Even you? So you can make the arrangements? Consider them done. Excellent, Mr. Diaz. You can go. So are you sure that I didn't need to tell him that she's just in a coma? She's not actually dead. I can't possibly see how he would need that information. Nice job, Tony. You really sold him on it. Are you sure? Because I mean, I kind of feel like they were just trying to shut me up in there. No, I am positive. Listen, these people do not have any time to waste, nor any hearts. I am Trust not me. signing that contract, Charles. No way in hell. Hey. I'm a way short round. Sebastian. Tommy boy? Look at you! Look at you! <laughs> you look like shit, man. I only gotta look good when the cameras are on, though, am I right? <laughs> 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 Alright, well, I'm gonna get going. I have an early flight tomorrow, so... No! Don't be ridiculous. Let me introduce you to a friend of mine. Meet Sebastian Jupiter. Sebastian, Tony Stewart. He's got a kick-ass script that we're gonna make into a television show. It's gonna be a hit. Right. Well, uh, it's nice to meet you, Mr. Jupiter. But I have an early flight tomorrow, so I'm gonna get going and I will see you. Look, we all have early flights tomorrow, Bubba. It's the nature <laughs> of the biz. I mean, but tonight, we're gonna go out and party. Yeah. And you're gonna go with us. Come on, Tony, keep up. Let's go. Coming. <sighs> you getting dressed is always the worst part of our chats. <laughs> I suppose I feel the same way. Just suppose. No, I don't, I mean, I don't suppose, I, I mean, I, I know, I do. I, you know. You talk so funny sometimes, son. I, I guess. You know, um, I really wish we could do this for real sometime. When I'm in town, I'll make some time for you. Maybe you could, um, stay with me? <laughs> That's what I love about you. You make me laugh. <laughs> that's, um, that's me. Laughable. <laughs> <laughs> if he tried to have sex with you in a bathhouse 30 years ago. Actually, it would be okay. like the exact number of years doesn't matter, Anthony. You know what does matter? What matters is that he is my sister's favorite singer of all time. Probably. And you know him. Yeah, but, uh, and you can get him probably. to sing at her ceremony, a remembrance ceremony. Well, actually, the Yeah, whatever it's called. I need you to get him, okay? Yeah, but... Just make it happen, Anthony. But Thank I... you. I love you. Say, Polly, hmm. what's my dream? I don't know. Three men at once? I'm serious. Oh, shit. Ted really did a number on you. Look, Dennis, I don't know what your dream is. It's your dream. It's up to you. You decide. You decide. I can't tell you. I can't tell you what your dream is. You figure it out. Come on. You don't know how hard it is to change yourself until you're changing yourself. See, they're fun. No, no, no. Hey, did you know I'm British? Which means I'm 47% more interested in you. Go away. I don't know if this is supposed to be funny or sad. You're no help at all. Where's Hunter? I'm not sure. He's probably getting eye humped by that guy who keeps stalking him. Who? Ooh, his name's AJ. And he likes Hunter something fierce, let me tell you. And this guy, he's actually the head of this A-list bear club. And they got money. <laughs> and they like to spend it. 
Which is good, it'd be really good for the bar, so. How do you know all this? Because I asked him why he was staring. And he just told you just like that? Yeah. Oh, Dennis, Dennis, Dennis. Never underestimate the sultry powers of a woman, even on a gay man. <laughs> That's it? You know the bridge is coming, and if you're willing, it will be me. Sure. It's a good thing you got me uh, there to uh, bring you back to your room, because uh, Thomas, that friend of yours, he seemed much more interested in that bartender than. Uh, than helping you back to your hotel. He's not my friends. You don't have friends in this business, Bubba. Never confuse collaboration with friendship. Friends, I got your back through thick and thin. That ain't what this is. Thanks for the tip, Mr. Jupiter. Call me. <laughs> right, well. Tonight has been, fun isn't the word I would use, but I gotta get back to my room. Um, I'm heading to New York City tomorrow, so. Oh, I wonder if we're on the same flight. That's my destination too. Small world. Well, have a good. <sighs> Look, um, since you're gonna be in New York City tomorrow, uh, do you think that you would uh, be, um, a friend of mine is having a ceremony in memory of her sister and her sister was a huge fan of yours and she would really appreciate it if you would come by and, and sing a song in her memory. I mean, if, if you wouldn't mind, she was, it would mean the world to her. And why would I do that? Because you're a nice person. <laughs> Try again. Because she's a big fan. <laughs> Not for very long the way you talk. Cause I'll pay you. No, you're talking. <laughs>